so I started a video well I did a video last night <clears throat> ended up taking it down because I was really giddy and people saw it that don't know me they'd probably think I was drunk or something but I wasn't I don't I wasn't drunk um and it was just over the top a little bit so I removed it and I want to kind of talk about the subject that I was talking about last night um kind of more in depth than I you know believe it's it's extremely important and that is to find you know find solitude in in healing between relationships um and this is you know I, I think all of us it's important for all of us to have like I don't like to use the word rules I, I don't know if that's like the gypsy or the rebel in me but just the sound of a rule is like a so like a boundary or just something that you you um set for yourself you know uh, um back to rule i guess it could be called a rule um and that you know that's one of mine is you know giving myself time and space to heal between you know intimate relationships um, I think in this culture, you know, people probably watching my videos um, that have been part of the, the, you know, the modern dating culture or the modern, you know, um, relationship culture of, of the day is people, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm sure they did it in the past too, in the history, but they just sleep with everybody. You know, that's, that to me for me um if you if you want or you desire you know a lasting relationship and you know this is probably speaking not so much to the younger generation but maybe to my generation you know we we're still you know have some old-fashioned qualities you know I do I'm 42 and I still believe in <clears throat> you know um allowing a man to pursue a, a um being and I'm trying to find the balance in this you know um uh just being an overall you know good woman in other words allowing your femininity to um illuminate and and you know it doesn't mean that you're you know a, a doormat of course but um when you truly love somebody you want to be and they call it nowadays, they'll call it like wife material, you know, um, you, you know, as, as men, you know, as men are able to, to meet the needs of their girlfriend or significant other or wife, a, a woman should be that as well. And, you know, not all, not all men require you know certain things just like not all women do you know it's just that's why it's very important to communicate things um but getting back to you know the whole dating scene and i'm learning too like i i've you know with my facebook facebook video yesterday you know i thought about it and really in in 40 out of 42 years of my life have only went on two dates like that is crazy the first one was my junior prom with my first husband and the second one was with a guy from phoenix when i lived in tucson about what nine years ago and that was it like i've i'm, I'm clueless to this whole dating thing um and i'm learning how to balance you know giving my all up front and because that's who i am you know i, I like to give you know, if I'm interested or if I love somebody, I shouldn't even say interested because I could be interested in, and not do that kind of stuff for somebody. But um, when I have a connection and, and I love somebody, I want to, to give my all and show them my good qualities up front, you know. And um, I think that's just kind of like human nature, especially those who have, you know, who are deep feelers and have a big heart. We want to... to um, be ourself and that's essentially that's what I am you know I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not saying I don't have my bad moments because believe me I you know I can I can 
be mean, you know, um, I just tend to be a little bit more on the nice side. Um, but I've learned to set boundaries and, you know, in, in, in regard to relationships, um, it's super important to give yourself time to heal between relationships. Um, if you're on a rebound and that's something I've never experienced, so it's kind of hard for me to talk about because I don't know about it personally, but, um, if you, uh, if you, you know, are new, um, getting out of a relationship, a lot of times you feel empty and you want to grab onto something. It's kind of like letting go of something else and having to grab on some, to something else in order to feel complete. And for me, it, that, you know, what tells me when someone goes from relationship to relationship is they don't, they're not confident in their self. They, they're not trying to work on themselves. Um, you know, I remember one point in time, I even, you know, the, the, f the few people that I, um, like three people that I was interested in never really got anywhere. You know, I even reached out to them and, 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 um, just kind of them, Hey, we're cool. You know, I just making sure I have closure as much as possible. But, um, but to go from one intimate, you know, connection in trying to find somebody else, like right away, are you really giving your time, yourself time to heal from that relationship? Um, are you giving yourself time to heal from the hurt that they caused you or that you might have caused them? Are you learning from that experience and that relationship before you go into another one to drag all of the stuff that you didn't learn with you? Because it's, it's just going to be a vicious cycle of hurting yourself, first of all, that you're, you're, you are your most important, per, bleh, most important person, you know, and then what if you like fall in love with this next person that you, that you connect with? You know, and that is, that's devastating to think that you didn't get the healing that you needed before jumping into another relationship. Um, you know, in my long-term, um, emotionally and intimately, you know, physically connected relationships, I've always had, well, between my first husband and before I started dating, there was five years, um, you know, that I was single, didn't date, didn't do anything. I raised my kids and worked on myself, read books. I was working on myself. Um, and then there were, um, you know, between my last marriages, I think there was a, probably about a year, a year and a half, two years, but those were, were very short marriages. You know, I didn't, I mean, and they were abusive marriages. So, um, I didn't really have to work I mean, there were some things, areas I had to work with myself, but more it was like blown away with the trauma and, and trying to, um, you know, work on what I look for in a man. You know, that was my main, you know, self-reflection, but also to heal from, you know, <clears throat> my poor choice in, in marrying quickly. Um and then from there, my last marriage, 2017, until now, I've had one intimate connection. Um, and I feel like I'm in that, you know, that same period of time where I have to heal. And I have to, you know, learn. What did I learn? What, you know, what did I learn from that, you know, from that relationship? Um, you know, and the main thing I learned was... Uh, you know, I feel like things were projected onto me that I've done to somebody or to people in my past or to people that I've been in relationship with. Um, and when I say this, it could be, you know, any type of relationship um, as far as learn, you know, learning from that. Um, I, <clears throat> I was like, wow, Katie, you have learned that you did have and you did carry some of those narcissistic traits of projecting, not realizing it, you know, to think that I am a narcissist is, is 
hurtful for me because, you know, at one time I was because of, you know, I was. And I'm going to stop. I'm not going to say because of some, somebody else because I'm learning not to do that too. Learning not to blame other people. You know, I'm just learning. It's it's a process. It's part of growing. It's part of awakening. It's part of your spiritual um and then, you know, building a new personality from, you know, things that you thought were right to things that you've learned and experienced um, that brings you to this current place, you know. So I'm like, wow, I, I learned from that. Um, you know, and um, that's the main important thing, you know, well as far as you know the whole experience of that relationship i um i learned you know i i love too and there was love there i learned good things about it like this is this is how it's supposed to be in a relationship you know as far as the intimacy this is how it's supposed to be um you know i'm still healing from it so if i cry that's part of it but um I learned that I learned to be, you know, more open with myself um, and trusting. But I also learned that, you know, even even the most wonderful person can have a lot of hurt that they need to work on. Um, so, you know, it just further, um, it just further, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what I was saying. It just shows me more that, you know, that we're never done learning from things and experiences. We're never, you know, we're we're always um, going to learn new things. Um, new people are going to come into our lives to teach us something. Um, <clears throat> we're never going to be there. We're never going to be the end of that experience. As long as we're open, our heart and our mind is open to those things we're going to learn from them and we're going to um you know at some point when we find our healing and we have a better understanding we can share with others and i think it's super important and i think that um it's a beautiful thing to be able to you know not have expectations um and that's that's taken that's another thing i've learned don't have expectations you know you may fall he head over heels with somebody because they've given you something you've never experienced and it felt good and wonderful and but there's still things you know there that they may need to work on that they're not quite there yet so I mean either both ways we're learning experiencing and sharing and um, working on ourself that's why it is super important to um, give yourself time to reflect on the things in that relationship that you learned things that can help you grow new ways to love new ways to set boundaries um when you're feeling confused in a relationship reflect on what this is teaching you and that's what i did and i'm like wow my mind was blown now i'm able to go to this other person and, and say hey you know i was projecting i was you know from hurts and expectations and I'm sure it hurt you, um, and I am apologize. You know, I'm able to go to her and, and talk to her about it now. So I learned, and it doesn't take away from, you know, the love that I have for people. Um, you know, I, I like to think that I love, you know, people unconditionally, no matter what depth that, that goes, um, especially those who teach me very pivotal lessons in life will always whether that lesson hurt me or um or it showed me a new way i'll always you know have that love in my heart for that for that person so 
Anyway, we're at 15 minutes. I better go. Thanks.